Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? My name is Malad Ghasil, welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about uh, why I left T-Mobile. So I used to work as a mobile expert at T-Mobile uh, for uh, two and a half years, right? I was in my third year there. And uh, the way I'm gonna do this video is that first I'm gonna talk about the pros, and then I'm gonna talk about the cons, and then I'm gonna mention why I left, right? So with the first pro, um, essentially they T-Mobile as a company has a really good culture. Uh, people from all backgrounds, ethnicities, uh, you know, just life experiences in general work there. And all my coworkers were very interesting. I really liked working with them. And I essentially connected with them on a level that I didn't connect with any of my other coworkers at other positions that I've had, which was pretty cool, right? And aside from the culture, the management there is very understanding. So if you're having troubles in your life, uh, management is there to help, you know? Like management is there to help you. They're not your enemy. And uh, they're not trying to make your life more difficult. They want you to come to work prepared. They want you to be uh, lively when you're working, you know, they want you to be at your best. So if you're going through troubles, management has your back, which is something that I love about T-Mobile. And another pro is uh, essentially you get to meet people. So at T-Mobile, you meet the rich, you meet the poor, you meet the desperate, you meet the cocky, you meet everyone really. And uh, that's it's, it's nice, you know, you get to exchange stories with different people, uh, which I liked a lot. Um, another thing is the hourly pay, right? So at T-Mobile, I was getting paid $16 an hour, uh, which is pretty good because you get paid commission on top of the 16 And uh, I, I liked it, you know, I, I like the fact that even though most of the country is fighting for $15 an hour minimum wage, T-Mobile was just giving you 16 an hour, right? Uh, that's essentially what I liked about it. Um, but yeah, so these are the pros of why I liked working at T-Mobile. Now moving on to the cons. The first con is no work-life balance. So if you're working full-time at T-Mobile, say goodbye to your life. Your social life has to be like playing video games or something or like no time to leave home because it's retail. So it's open seven days a week, 10 to 10. And, you know, you have to be there before and you have to be there after to open and close. I mean, you're not going to be there 10 to 10 every day. But, you know, the way things work is like, let's say you have a 12 to 9 shift or like a 1 to 9 shift, right? You go and then you leave work at like 9 30 10 and then you go to sleep at like 11 and then you wake up at like 11 and then you have to go to work in a couple of hours and it's it's just no work-life balance at all it's just work 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 unless you, like if you want to go out with your friends that's not gonna happen because you're probably working Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So unless your friends want to go out on like a Monday uh, or like a Tuesday, you're probably not going to go out with any of your friends. Um, another con is that you have to rely on commission for your pay. Now, I know I mentioned in the pros that the hourly pay is pretty nice, 16 an hour. But at the same time, it's not enough for you to to like live your life you know like you want more you need more which is when the commission gets in it uh, gets into play but the commission gets taxed at like 40 percent because it's commission so let's say you're making a thousand dollars in commission you're getting 600 of those uh, you know it's just and also also like you can you can work your ass off with a customer like this has happened to me so many times where I've been with a customer for hours, right? And they just don't buy anything. And hey, it's not their fault. It's not my fault. They just didn't want to buy anything. They just wasted my time. And listen, that's fine. I'm still getting paid the hourly, but like, don't get it twisted. Some months you will not sell shit. 
right some months you won't sell some months you have to rely on your hourly which makes you like wonder like what's my budget you know because a month you can make 5k and another month you'll make like 2k so like you never really know what your budget is you never really know like how much uh, how much money is going to come into your paycheck because it, you just don't know if you're going to sell or not you know uh, obviously you have to be a good salesman to begin with to sell but even good salesmen sometimes go through like droughts and you just don't sell so uh, that's another thing and um, another con is that uh, management is very strict about the metrics right because it's a sales position you have metrics that you have to reach monthly and you have to reach weekly and management is very strict about it they make you feel every time you don't reach your metrics they make you feel like you're gonna get fired even though they won't fire you for something that stupid uh, unless you're like consistently not reaching your metrics they won't really fire you but uh, they make you feel like shit for not getting your metrics they they roast you a lot so that's something to think about I mean, I know I said management's understanding, but that's part of their job, is you reaching metrics. So as long as you're reaching metrics, which isn't super difficult, but, you know, so there are times where you just don't reach your metrics. And sometimes they make the metrics, like, pretty difficult um, for, like, a specific feature that they're trying to push. Um, but, yeah, in any case, uh, these are my cons. Okay, so moving on to why i left essentially i left because there's no room for advancement you see the way things work at a t-mobile store is that it's mobile expert which is the salesman and then the associate manager who's managing that salesman and then there's a store manager who's managing the store okay so the mobile expert makes more money than the manager okay so the associate manager makes less money than the mobile expert. So they kind of demotivate you to get promoted to begin with, okay? And then when you move on to, to become a store manager, you make more money and stuff like that. So that's really like the objective is to become store manager or district manager or just go into corporate. But becoming an associate manager is definitely not the goal because you will be making a lot less money. You'd rather be a mobile expert than a mobile, so I mean, than an associate manager. So that's something. But even if you're willing to take the pay cut, even if you're willing, like, hey, you know what? I want to become an associate manager because I want to become a store manager. You know, like I'm willing to take the pay cut to get to the bigger picture where you get paid, I don't know, like 80K a year, 90K a year. And okay, that's fine. They make it so hard for you to become associate manager, even if you wanted to take the pay cut. Even, even if you were like, you know what, I'm willing to make like 10, 20K less a year. They make it difficult. They make you, so essentially you have to reach goals for like, I think it's like six months or like a year where you have to reach specific uh, certain goals and if you don't reach those goals and if you don't have like a specific story of why you want to become an associate manager and like why T-Mobile would need you as an associate manager they will not hire you so even if you want the pay cut they still make it so difficult for you to get promoted so I was looking at myself and uh, all my coworkers, so I was there for two and a half years. The coworker above me has been there for like seven years. The coworker above that one has been there for eight years. The coworker before that one has been like 11 years. And we had a coworker who was there for 13 years. So I was looking at myself and I was like, hey, if I'm not getting promoted, why am I gonna stay here? You know, like, why am I wasting my time at a company that probably isn't going to promote me? Like, the lady who was at the store for 13 years, she knows what she's doing. She's pretty smart, but she never got promoted. And I'm pretty sure she tried to get promoted, but they didn't promote her. So, a person who has a tenure of 13 years didn't get promoted. And and she was willing to take the pay cut and all of that why why would they ever promote me right so i was like you know what i'm gonna look for opportunities elsewhere so i started uh, 
uh, looking at other jobs and thankfully I found one and uh, that's where I am now uh, I'm doing that one I don't want to talk about that specific job in this video but it's, it's going pretty good so far and I like it a lot and I think leaving T-Mobile in the long run was a good decision and hopefully you guys found this video informative and until next time guys peace